Hi there. My name is Jackie Murray with Ask a Tech Teacher, and I'll be your guide through these 32 lessons in your kindergarten technology curriculum. I actually run K through five, all of them. So if you're watching all of them, you hear a lot from me. This one though is kindergarten and we're on lesson three. This is a really good lesson because it lays out for students the digital tools that they can be expected to be using this year in their class. This is just the digital tools. So all the other ones they probably already talked about in their other class, but here's your opportunity to share with them the types of tools they will be using. You probably already talked about the hardware, the iPad, the Chromebook, that sort of thing, where the printer is, those types of things. But this is the tools. This is the, um, the, the, the student workbook that they may or may not have, an annotation tool, class calendar, those tools. And you're going to introduce them, explain to students how they'll use them. Let them know this is the set. You may add tools, but basically this is what you expect them to get used to. So they feel like there's a starting and an ending to this, that there's not an infinite number of digital tools that they're going to have to learn. There's just these five or six, I forget what it is. So you're going to go through them if they need logins. Students will try experiment with their login and try getting on and have all that excitement of seeing what happens when they try all that. So first, um, lots of vocabulary words because we're talking about the digital tools. They might, may not even know what that means. But you're going to go over these words. Um, you're going to use them and then help the students if they don't understand what you're saying. Problems. Some of the same ones, but there's some new ones. How to open a program, tap it, what's the start button, um, iPad doesn't work. Um, skills, scaffolded skills are with the hardware. And new, new skills are annotation tool, are basically the tools they're using. They're kindergartners, so they probably haven't seen these before. By first, second, third, and up, they're going to have seen all these before. They might change a little year to year, but they basically will know an annotation tool, what it does. But this year, they just don't. So um, materials required, pretty basic. You look through those. I don't think you'll find any surprises. And the assessment strategies are anecdotal observation, um, watching them annotate the workbook. Now that you're teaching them how to do it, you're going to observe that they can do it correctly. Then the usual ones we do, join class conversation, tried to solve their own problems, decisions followed class rules, they left the room as they found it, and they observed higher order thinking skills, whatever that is in your classroom. The essential question, what digital tools will I use this year and why? The why is really important because you want to start giving them a foundation for when they would seek out that tool. Not just you say, okay, go to your calendar. But when you say, we have a quiz coming up this week. Okay, I better go to my calendar. So that they understand the purpose of the tools. Preparation, test the digital tools. Make sure you've got them all. Make sure the class start page and everything works right. Have parent helpers. This is very typical in kindergarten. If you have parent helpers, these first five or ten lessons in kindergarten are really good time to call on them. And um, then some of the usual, again, always integrate your domain-specific vocabulary into the lesson. Know if you need extra time for this so that you can ask for it from whoever. If you are if, if you teach in a lab, you might take an extra five or 10 minutes. And keep track of what tasks weren't completed so you know that and can go back to them. Basically, it takes about 45 minutes. So student workbooks, if you have those and you haven't introduced them yet, good time to do it. Because by now, they're three weeks into it. They're ready to start getting the whole toolkit. The annotation tool, we already talked about this, but this is, if you haven't covered it yet with kindergartners, this is a good time to do it. With whatever they're using, Adobe Acrobat, um, Notability, whatever the tool is in your school, and get them used to trying it out, testing it out on, the, on their student workbook. Might as well try it. And we, we did go over a video of that last week, so you know how to do that. If you're not using the annotation tool with kindergartners, just skip that one. And in fact, um, 
any tools you have, if they're not included in this list, add them to this list. Take your annotation tool and jot it down, add it here, right next to it, and cross out the ones you're not going to introduce so you, you keep track of what you're doing. But you may have other tools that aren't included here, so add those because this is the time to go over them. Class calendar, show them how to find that. If not for them, for their parents, so they can keep track of exactly what's going on when and when they should expect quizzes or assessments or field trips. Um, the class internet start page, show them how to find that. Wherever you keep that, it might look something like this. And if you do that, and let's go, because I think I have, when you, when you bring up your internet start page, show them where the pieces are. Like here, I like to say these are the bookmarks that we'll use during class. These are the ones you'll use when you have free time during class over here, and I'll tell you which ones to use. And then the to-do list here, the um, class rules here, and a, a puzzle or whatever you put down here for play. They, they really like that sort of thing. So however yours works, that's what you want to do. And go over that with them so that they can clearly see how that works. And then digital portfolios, Google GAFE or Classroom, whatever you use, or maybe it's Dropbox, wherever you're saving files and students are access, accessing them, turning in homework, and maybe not in kindergarten, but will be, um, go over that with them. This is where you're saving your files. This is where I'll go to look for your work. Class web tools. Now this, you will not be able to go over all the web tools they're going to use all year, but you might go over the big ones. <clears throat> like if you use Raz Kids, uh, show them, this is how we find Raz Kids. If you're not ready yet to introduce it, you'll just let them know. We will have a reading tool, which we'll get into later as one of your class web tools. A math tool, if you're on everyday math or a Singapore math, and they have an online component that the students will access. Khan Academy, probably not kindergarten, but third grade. So you, you get the idea. If you have some big programs like that that they use online, then this is when you talk about that. Otherwise, they will just let them know they will go online a lot to find web tools to do projects. And these are just a couple examples. And the vocabulary decoding tools, which we've also talked about. Now, their book looks pretty much the same, a little more detailed probably, examples of calendars and examples of the projects, decoding these, if they click there, so it'll take them to a link for these if you want to take them through them. And then if you get done early, you have these um, in their workbook, you have these mouse programs to play with and alphabet programs that they can use. I think yours doesn't have that, so just theirs. But there's you could put these sort of things uh, on the Internet Start page so that when they're done, you have them over here and say, okay, go to these mouse websites, any, any you want. Pick the one you want. And then down below have one for letters that would include these six sites and have a box of links for letters over here. And that's really about it. All right. And this is about as long as I want these to be, 8 to 10 minutes. So we're right in the middle of that. All right, guys, questions, feel free to ask me about them on, your, on our discussion board in, on the wiki or join me in office hours on Sundays. I'll talk to you soon and have a great week. Bye.